Hi right, everyone, welcome back, Cold Athena Blade Reviews. Today we have the Cold Steel Scottish Broadsword. Take a look at some specs on this one, some up close looks in the scabbard, out of the scabbard, and then we'll do some cut testing on the tatami. Let's get to it. All right, out of the scabbard, we have a little bit over 37 inches from the pommel all the way to the pointy tip here. A little bit over 31 inches on the blade itself. We have a fuller going down part of the way, about halfway down on both sides. Steel quality we're looking at is 1055 high carbon steel. Steel that Cold Steel uses a lot for their blades here. Moves really well for a single handed broad sword. So it's got big sweeping cuts here. We've got full hand protection. So the hand is fully encapsulated. Really no matter what position your hand is in, even if you're on the low shots too. The wrist is exposed a little bit, but when you come out to actually cut, the hand is completely protected on virtually all the lines. We also have a double-edged blade that's very sharp. Mark did, um, our sharpening guy Mark did do a touch-up service on the blade, so thank you Mark for doing that. And also we comes with a leather scabbard. Slides nice and smooth into the scabbard. We have a little bit of a Cold Steel logo right here on the scabbard. Steel tip as well, black steel tip. And this little belt loop here, you can actually run this into a sword hanger if you want, which we have a bunch of those in our leather goods section at cultivathena.com if you want to check those out. So as well for this blade, we'll also see the faux ray skin if we get up in there. We're going to see the faux ray skin if I pull back all this little decoration. And that's wire wrapped here. So you get a really, really nice grip. See it up close. And then underneath the pommel, which is a really sweet pommel actually, you'll see that we got decoration there. Going all the way around. Grip length is four and seven eighths inches. So as far as the grip goes, it gets a little bit wider toward the wrist. That way your hand, yes, it's protected, but you're not getting any play in the wrist that's going to allow you to like have it actually like rub against your wrist or whatever. Plenty of room for it if you want to wear a gauntlet with it. There's plenty of space. The handle is not rounded. I know I talk about that a lot in videos. It's not rounded. It's it's I'm, it's um, it's like a flat handle. So the cutting edge it works perfectly with keeping that protection of the hand. Slides into the scabbard really nicely. The pommel, like I said before, on the pommel. This pommel is threaded, so you do have the option to adjust it in order to, uh, depending on like, you know, different climates and stuff like that. If the wood on the handle expands or contracts, you can adjust that pommel to make, it all, all sure, make sure that all the hardware is tight on it. So what I wanna do right now is go over some up close looks in the scabbard and out of the scabbard, and then do some cut testing with it. Let's get to it. Blade in the scabbard, pretty simple. You can see up close of the handguard. You got this, you got a fabric going around it keeping the hand completely protected. Pretty simple leather scabbard. It's all stitched on the back. Back to the pommel as well. Then we have the blade out of the scabbard. pointy tip on it kind of a narrow blade but not like not even close to what really a rapier would be it's definitely wider than that Oop. still a cutting for a sword definitely with a lot of cutting power this one so from here let's do some cutting on the tatami mats with the Scottish broadsword from cold steel Let's try and get some uppercuts on this one as well. It's a pretty long blade, so it should do well on this one. Punch cut all the way through. Get a forehand uppercut. It's really interesting because one, you gotta know how to actually use the elbow and actually pull the cut through. So we got some diagonal cuts on that one. Pretty much destroy the tatami. It's very sharp. The handle's awesome. 
Um, I didn't have any rubbing or anything, any stuff you have to worry about as far as discomfort with the handle itself. Feels really great. The uppercuts are my favorite as far as what to cut with. All right, so there you have it. Cold Steel Scottish Broadsword. Did some specs with it in the scabbard out of the scabbard with some close-up looks. Did some cut testing with the Tommy mats with a little bit of a bigger spike. That way the Tommy can sit on there. If you need to Tommy mats, click the link below. You can buy them over at cultathena.com. You need leather goods if you want to carry this thing for reenactments or just for your own personal curiosity about how it would be to hold to actually carry a sword. We have everything you need as far as that goes at cultathena.com. Subscribe to the channel, like this video. Talk to you soon.